Welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you how we're going to set our pump. This will be the final stage of our system um, and the next step is going to be getting plants in there and getting our fertilizer, liquid fertilizer added to the water. So first thing I went ahead and I already connected this so it would save us some time. I'm using hose clamps instead of the PEX connections because I figured if I ever want to change the pump or if we ever have to move it or do something with it, it's a lot easier to take the hose clamps off than it would be a PEX connection. I'd have to cut those off which can be a real hassle. So, again, we got a hose clamp on the bottom connecting to our pump. We're going to place our pump in, and I want it on the opposite corner. I want it on the opposite corner because what's going to happen is you don't want to create a short circuit. We have our water coming in here. It's going to help aerate because it's going to drop and kind of bubble, and then we want our pump over here. That way it's drawing the water over and it continues to mix it. If the pump was right next to this, there's a chance it could short circuit and it would just be drawing the water directly out of the pipe in through there and we could create like a stagnant zone over here at the far end. So again, I already cut some holes in the lid and in the side here. This is for our power cord. And again, we got this in here. It's stuck to the bottom. It's in. I'm going to loop this up through the back here. And once I have this connected, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one clamp here just to hold this tight also. There we go. All right, it's in. Clamp here. And this will hold it so that too, it'll take some of the uh, strain off of the, the pecs here if it gets a little heavier that it'll keep it from falling on us. All right, there we go. Now we'll go go ahead and bring the camera closer real quick. We'll show you the inside, and then we're going to turn it on and we're going to let it flow. So come on, bring the camera closer. Just keep it running. Bring it closer for us. Lift this up. I want you to look down inside. See, there's where we put our pump, we put our water level in here, we filled it about uh, two-thirds full. And we might have to add more because what's going to happen is once the pump gets running, it's going to run to the point where it fills up our pipes with the running water and so it'll deplete what's in the reservoir. So we may have to add a little bit to the reservoir in order to keep it going. So we'll see that in a little bit if that's going to work for us. Okay, and the pump is now running. Oh, got a little bit of a leak up here. Oh, you know what? Never glued this piece on. So we'll have to come back and do that. Keep that from leaking on us. Now we're starting to get water flowing all the way through. Then what's going to happen is it's going to fill up It'll start filling up down here, and as it does that, it'll create a back pressure and start filling up a little bit higher in each one of the pipes. And if need be, if you're not getting enough, you can always change the angle of the pipes. And that's why we put those straps on there with screws, so we can go ahead, if you want a little bit more water to settle in here and not run as a thin film, you can go ahead and make a little bit less of an angle, and that'll create more of the backflow, and it'll keep more water inside the pipe. The biggest thing you don't want is the water coming up and spilling over the sides. Um, so that's what we have. We're going to go ahead and we'll shut down for now. Next time we see you, we should have our plants in here. We'll be using the grow baskets, have our grow media, our seedlings in here, and we'll keep you posted. And we're going to try some different um, liquid fertilizers and see how well they do. And as we continue to expand our projects, we'll continue to make videos. Like us if you want, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in.